Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. It's time to get the scoop with Sarah. And I'm an actor on Nurses and Nancy Drew. We're still, uh, we're still waiting for a final word on that. I've been so encouraged by the fans. I don't know if you, you follow Twitter and all the Hardys on Twitter, but it's, uh, they've been so vocal about their support for season two. And, and um, I certainly have my fingers crossed. Yeah, I think everything, you know, everything's in flux right now and every, everything in the world is in flux. So I think it's a good practice just to kind of, you know, see what happens. And, and uh, like I said, I love seeing the support from the Hardys. So, you know, it's, it's really touched me throughout the last couple of months. It's been nice. Something that we're very, very excited about. Um, Nurses started on Global up in Canada and, uh, and NBC picked it up. So NBC, it's airing on NBC uh, this Monday at 10 p.m. And then uh, I think the first couple of weeks are on Monday and then it switches over to Tuesday, but the fans can follow along on that online. It's a really great show. It's a really great show. It follows the lives of uh, frontline healthcare workers in a busy downtown hospital. And uh, their dedication towards their patients and, and um, everyone who comes into the hospital and, you know, and also their personal lives and how much of a struggle that is while balancing this intense, uh, this intense, important job. I play Dr. Evan Wallace. And he's the head of the emergency department. Very busy emergency department, as we'll see in the first five minutes of, uh, of season one on Monday. And he's, yeah, he's a very hardworking, very uh, compassionate and passionate guy. He's a little sleep deprived. And, uh, you know, because he's so dedicated to his work, I think he's very uh, surprised by some of the things that he comes up against in season one. So I'm very excited for people to see that. Uh, and he was a great, he, he's been a great character to play. I mean, first of all, they had some great resources on set for us to, uh, for us to really get it right. And I, I would say the show in general was very committed to doing right by healthcare workers. So we had great resources on set. And also as a, as a research guy who, who likes to do his research on roles, I was able to go to a few hospitals and a few, uh, a few ERs and just kind of um, talk to the doctors and nurses and heads of departments and just find out the rhythm. Cause that's, that was one of the most interesting things that these people function at such a, such a high level when they're at work, you know, there's no, um, there's no telling when the downtime is going to be, or if there's going to be any downtime on these shifts. So, you know, to do right by, by the rhythm that they have to operate under was, uh, was a really interesting challenge. And, and I'm happy I was able to do my background on that. Well, it's funny, audition processes are, are always so different. And this one was, was quite, quite unique because I was, uh, I was at the airport and I was, um, I got an email from my agent about this role, which was a hugely exciting role. I mean, the producers have done so much in Canada and their shows have often come down to the States. I mean, no brainer. And, and, but I was getting on a plane in five minutes to go to Budapest. So I got the audition. I downloaded the sides to, uh, to study the lines, did it on the plane and the tape had to be in the next morning. So I arrived first thing like 5 a.m. in the morning to Budapest and uh, called my brother who helps me out with every audition and, and it through and kind of where I wanted to go with it and then put it on tape. And that night in my hotel in Budapest, I, I uh, Skyped with the producers and we had an awesome Skype. And then I got the role kind of 20 minutes later. So it was a very fast, very fast process. Um, and hugely exciting because I was, you know, in transit through most of it. And it was, it was quite a rush, but super happy to get the role. And, uh, and it was a great, it was a great experience. I mean, the cast is great. The cast led by Tierra Scope is, is, um, is great. And the writers, Adam Peddle and his team of writers have, have uh, really put together some great stories and some really complicated, uh, messy relationships, which is always makes for great television. And I'm just really excited for, you know, now all of North America will be, will be able to see this thing. So it, uh, it's, it's really exciting to, to see what we're going to bring. I 
think, um, you know, there's a very central focus on the nurses in this show, which, which, uh, which is, is great and unique and, and their perspectives of, um, of people coming into the ER is, is a unique one. Um, and the show has done a, some really great work to focus in on that and, and give that its due. Um, and I think that fans should be really, really excited about some of the stories that they're gonna see. For sure, I've seen I've seen some Grays and uh, ER, of course, and I think medical dramas just just have you know just have like that that kind of fast paced rhythm that that you can just really dive into, and I think that this is uh, this is another one that's gonna that that people are gonna really love. Sarah's the best. She's she's great, and because um, because Nancy Drew shoots out in Vancouver. Tierra's based out in Vancouver some of the time. So um, we've been able to hang out there and it's, it's been just a delight to work with her and then now to be such good friends. Um, and the whole cast of nurses is great. Nancy Drew has been such a wonderful experience. My character there is Detective Abe Tamura who uh, comes in at the end of season one and means business. And he, you know, we learn a lot about him in season two, kind of peel back layer by layer. Um, and so I think there's a lot of intrigue there that the writers are, uh, are adding. I'm really excited for people to see it. Uh, towards the end of season one, actually, it was, um, you know, it, it, uh, the show adjusted and, and I think they ended in a great place for us to launch into season two. So, um, so yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, quite a bit of season two when he pops in and pops out and uh, tries to keep the, the Drew crew honest, you know? I mean, it's a it's a great, great show, and it's uh, it's a great show, and it's run really, really well from the top down. And I'm just having a ball on it. Um, to get to go out to Vancouver, I was born in Vancouver, so that's a nice little homecoming for me. It's it's uh, it's every time I go out there, it's you know, it's like uh, younger RJ is kind of really, really excited. Um, and the cast there has been so welcoming and uh, generous with their time and with their energy and. You know, it's a long, like, like they're shooting for nine or 10 months, right? Like, and, um, I just think they're doing such a great job. We had Nancy Drew, we had Hardy Boys. We, yeah, we, uh, the, the, those stories are, I mean, part of all of our childhood. They're, they're such, uh, they're such great stories. And um, so to be on the show now, especially like, when you tell someone you're on Nancy Drew, they immediately know what it is and, and they're excited to tune in. This, this Nancy Drew is uh, really unique in that it has a supernatural element, kind of a thriller supernatural element while still being kind of a mystery drama. Um, and like I said, the cast is, the cast is really good. So if, if people haven't seen the show, I really think that, uh, that they should tune in because it's great. CW's is is a great, great, great network. Um, I've had a kind of a long-term relationship with them and it's uh, it's really fun to be shooting. It's really fun to be shooting out in Vancouver, which like I said, is, is, is home in a lot of ways for me. And they have such a great, um, such a great setup out there as well as other places. So to join the CW is, I'm, I'm very, very proud to do that. I think that everything in my experience starts from the top down in this show everyone's been so generous to me coming into the show as, as a new character. Everyone has, has been really like truly very generous. So it's been seamless. I mean, it's been a seamless transition into the show. I love working with the cast. I love working with the producers and the writers. So it's, I mean, it's just been fun. Like it's just fun. There's been a bunch of times when I've been reading the script and I, you get that little jolt of like, oh, sweet. Just something that just really, really excites me. And that's, that's happened a bunch and that's a good sign. Like that's a, whenever that happens, it, it means something special is happening. So full of those moments, the trailer is out um, just the other day. So I encourage people to go and check that out because it, uh, Abe Tamora's in there. Um, and uh, yeah, I just think people should tune in. January 20th is when season two starts. 
and, uh, and I'll be watching. This industry always brings really unique opportunities and, and I'm very much open to those. So uh, we'll see what happens. It's been a, it's been a wild year and um, you know, we'll, we'll see kind of as things go forward here, what happens. But uh, I loved working for Hallmark and, and had a great time doing that. And, you know, we'll see, we'll see where that goes for sure. You know, there's always stuff in the works. It, there's always stuff in the works. Nothing I could talk about just quite yet, but um, I like to stay busy and I like to stay active. So I will let you know. Ooh, that's a great question. Um, it's funny when I'm working on a show, I really dive into that show. So when I was, I was just home actually, um, for, for a while, uh, during the whole quarantine and everything. And I was, I was in Toronto and my sister and I binged the entirety of Nancy Drew just so, you know, cause she was like reading through the, you know, kind of bouncing some lines off me and stuff like that. So, uh, it's just fun to really get into those types of, um, just when you're working on a job and you can really dive into those stories. In terms of movies, I mean, I like to really just watch a lot of um, a lot of classics. I mean, the other night I watched E.T., which was really cute, and I hadn't seen it in a long time, uh, but it was really cute. And I, I haven't seen it for for a while. Um, and you just there are these scenes that are just such iconic scenes that you that just like bring you right back. Um, and the scene with the with the baseball in the shed. I mean, that that like really I was like whoa. <laughs> it's just. It's just seven years old there for a second. Um, yeah, so that's been fun. That's a great question. I mean, I love, um, it's funny, I've always really admired the career of uh, Hugh Jackman. I think that he, you know, the fact that he does it all, like he, you know, he's on Broadway, he does a solo show, he does a lot of theater and um, as well as like, being a movie star in action, drama and comedy, it's, uh, that's just a really amazing thing to be able to do. And having had my start in theater and now being, um, now being in television for the last several years, it's, uh, I really like kind of having my hands in a lot of different um, pots. So, you know, in terms of going forward in my career, I, I think that that's, that's a goal that I really strive, strive towards. Thank you for watching The Sarah Scoop Show. Head to sarahscoop.com for more.